Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. How's everybody doing this morning? It is, uh, it's quarter to 11 on a Sunday. Very, very dreary morning out there. It's uh, misting and uh, slightly, it's almost to the rain point. Um, I just ran back up the steps, so that's why I'm out of breath. And, uh, well, smoking for 20 years didn't help, neither. Probably longer than that. But I'm six years, uh, no, I'm longer than that. I'm about, because every day counts to me, man. That's got to count. I'm almost seven. I got to be up coming up on seven years. I didn't have one puff of a cigarette. And uh, that was the biggest accomplishment that I've ever made in my entire life, period, hands down. That's the end of my discussion with that. I, that's the biggest uh, achievement that I've ever made. Because if you're a smoker, you know what it's like to try and quit that habit. It's got to be one of the worst habits to kick. Um, I don't think it's any worse than that heroin stuff that those kids are using out there on the street that you get hooked on. One, one time you try it, you're hooked like no tomorrow. Well, this is the same way. You try a cigarette, there ain't no coming back, man. I'm telling you. I, it's crazy. And the, how you wreck your body Okay, and you wreck your body from the very, very top of your head, pay attention to this, to the very, 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 very bottom of your feet. Okay, it affects everything. There is nothing that a cigarette does not affect on your body. Let's move on, guys, about that one. You know how I like to uh, open it up with a little... Uh, with a little conversation with you guys first. You know how it rolls around here. I want to show you guys some of these gentlemen carry pieces. And I said yesterday I was going to stop saying that, that word gent. Gent. It sounds silly to me. Here we go in my opinion. It sounds silly. Gents pieces. Gents. Gents. Um, gentlemen carry pieces to me. And... Um, you know, Danny, last night, hit a home run, man. He was throwing up. Danny from these knives. He was throwing up all the good stuff last night on his video, and it got me thinking. And he even said, yo, Pete, you know, time to up the game, buddy. And uh, so to speak, he, you know, he kind of like, you know, let me know the dealio kind of in a nice way. You know, like, your stuff is getting a little outdated there, you know. Uh, you might want to step it up a little bit. But anyway, I want to show you guys a few pieces. I was going to go through all this stuff before, too, because I have so many to show. The first one here, I've had this one for a while, not a long, long time, but I do consider this a gentleman carry piece. This is my Demko 20.5, um, and I'm going to tell you why I think it's a... Um, um, a gentleman carry piece. The action on it is fantastic for number one. Number two, think of this knife with these uh, plastic scales off of it and some fantastic, crazy, beautiful one-off, one-off scales that are going to go on this. It's in the makings from um, Nathan's Knives. It's just a matter of getting around the shipping it off to him and him getting it, you know, going through a couple things, what we're going to do with it. But this is a, I mean, a fantastic gentleman carry piece. Nice and slender. Um, action on it is fantastic. I mean, if you're out anywhere at a, a function, a party, a wedding, it uh, doesn't matter where you're at. You break this out to do a little cut. I mean, this is this is going to be uh, this is a showstopper. This is going to be the showstopper, right? But this is the Demko uh, twenty point five, and I'll tell you guys, it is a fantastic uh, carry piece, and it only gets better once these scales are off it. You got to deal with it for now, but these scales are doing no justice. These cheap uh, three dollar plastic scales that are on here, they got to go. So that's that's that one there. Um, this next piece is just a my. This is just this is a Hall of Famer to me. Uh, it's my Para Three in fifty two one hundred steel. 
Now, I wanted to get this one for a couple reasons. One, because this carbon fiber is true carbon fiber through and through. There's no overlay, G10 overlay on that. It's a true carbon fiber. These spider codes that come with that G10 on the top and the, the G10 at the bottom, and they give you that one little thin layer of carbon fiber on the top, that stuff looks so, so cheap. I won't buy them. I won't buy them because they look that cheap. This one here has this beautiful, I mean, if you just look at this weave that it's got going on in this carbon fiber, true carbon fiber through and through, again, 52100 steel. I wanted to try this steel because it takes just a fantastic patina. And this stuff I heard, well, I played with it. It just gets screaming, screaming sharp. So with the 52100 steel, and this carbon fiber um, scales, it was a no-brainer for me. I had to go in for the kill with this one. I had to pick this one up. And the size of it and everything else, it's a perfect, perfect, look at this, gentleman carry piece. It's a gentleman carry piece. Modern. You know, you got modern uh, touches now going on with these pieces here. So the next one up is this one. Um... This is actually a legit Hall of Fame piece, guys. This is my Spyderco Brad Southerd. I bought this piece new uh, roughly 20 years ago. It's brand new when it came out. And I chased and chased and chased this knife down until it finally came up. I don't even know where I got this piece at, but I think it was... I got the paperwork in there. Um... I didn't want to know two ways about anything. I was so, I was, I, my mind didn't think of anything else but buying this or acquiring this piece. And it's fantastic. This, this has a lot of controversy, this piece. A lot of people did not like this brown G10 for number one. And number two, they did not like this clip. That clip is a big no-no in a lot of people's minds. They didn't like it. To me, I could care less. Uh, you got a titanium backside on it. Everything's fantastic to me. Uh, the blade on it, uh, action is just... I mean, you get one of these... If, you, if you've ever handled one, um, I, I can only tell you... Um, that it is going to be one of the best... Uh, experiences that you'd ever have. This to me is getting up there in the highest tier of my collecting, of my collecting. Now, some people might say, who the hell cares about that Brad Southern? That ain't that, ain't that much, uh, that ain't that good. To me, it is in my collection. This piece uh, is way, way up there, way up there. It's, it's one of my, you know, uh, best pieces I got in my entire collection. Uh, so that's another piece that I, uh, consider a just wonderful, wonderful, uh, gentleman carry piece. Don't make me say gent piece, guys. Do not make me say gent. Um, so we got that one there going on. I'm trying to get through them. This piece here. Let's, let's, we, I wanted to talk to you guys about this piece. This is the Spyderco Centafonte. Let's zero in on that, right? There you go. Centafonte. This is the Delica Killer. If you, this is a Delica on steroids. That's what this is. If you like the Delicas, if you like the Delicas, the size, all this other stuff is very similar to a Delica. It's got the VG10 steel that this gets sharp as the Dickens, but it's this blade. Everything is much, much better on this piece than a Delica. Okay, um, it's got this back lock here. Um, everything's real, real buttery smooth on it. Um, the only way I could explain this piece is it's really lightweight. And this is a, just a fantastic uh, gentleman, gentleman carry to me. If you like the Delicas, if you do like them Delicas, and I've got a Delica, I've got a couple Delicas. Try and acquire one of these Centafantes because they are fantastic, man. You won't look back. I'm telling you, you won't look back, guys. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. 
So you got that one there. And then we're moving right along. Now this one might be the one of the whole uh all the whole uh table here. This is my Spider Co Capara, okay? Uh when I got this piece, um I thought I have hit the very, very top tier of collecting, in my opinion. I love this piece so much. If you get one of these in hand, if you do try one or experience one, um, the flow of it, the action of it, um, uh, the look of it, um, it is just one of the most spectacular pieces, gentlemen carry pieces that I've got in my collection to date right now. I don't think I could go much higher um, as far as gentlemen carry pieces than this piece here, in my opinion. That's going to be my opinion. You've got this fantastic um, compression lock here, and I mean, it's butter. I, I've never felt a compression lock like this. I don't, I've got, they did something to it. I don't know what it is. Um, I've got a lot of compression locks in there, guys, a lot, you know, quite a few. And this one, I when I release it, it's a feeling. I, I just, I never, I never felt anything like that. I've never felt anything to that standard. Nothing, nothing. And as far as a gentleman carry piece goes, you got this wonderful wire clip in the back here. I mean, this really, really hits. I mean, if you can find a better interpretation or an, uh, uh, if you can find a better, um, a better piece to show, uh, for a gentleman carry knife, then by all means, I love, love, love to see, um, I'd love to see it because this to me is the topper. I mean, you're, you're, you're topping out at the very top of my game. Now, I don't have no custom knives and all that. I'm not referring to that, guys. You know what I mean? There's always something better, of course. I understand that. But in my collecting state, in my collecting collection, in that that closet right next to me there, this is the best gentleman carry knife that I have. If, if you want to put them up there, you know what I mean? This is very high up there. Um, the action on it, uh, it just everything, there's nothing that, there's nothing that I can say that's, I mean, the carbon fiber is just done, look at it, this, I mean, there's no, um, voids in it, uh, the pivot is done wonderfully, it's just so attractive, the pivot, this is only an S30V steel, but I don't, I don't really, uh, care about steels that much, guys, I don't really, um, you, you know, I don't really need that hard of steels, but, um, you got the wire clip back here. Um, he also, you got this red backspacer here, if I can get on that. Now, he also sells an aftermarket uh, backspacer that I believe you could get colors in, or a different red, I believe. Uh, but this carbon fiber is just bonkers. I mean, everything on this piece is the blade. Look at the blade. Look at this blade. I mean, you can't, as far as I'm concerned, you can't really get much better than th than this or a gentleman carry piece. You can't. I I don't. I don't know what you could put. You know. And now I'm saying in in hypothetically speaking, I'm not saying you're going to throw up a five thousand dollar knife. This is a. I don't know what this is. Two hundred dollars or something. But you can't say you're going to throw up a five thousand dollar knife. This last one here, guys. I'm trying to move along for you. Is, I know you may consider this a tactical, a tactical piece, but every time I carry it, it falls into the role of a gentleman carry piece to me, to me. The size of it is fantastic. The blade shape, the look of it, everything just screams uh, uh, gentleman to me. This is a gentleman carry piece. Look at the swedge up top, the beautiful swedge. I am not I am not a big bench made guy by no means. Uh, I do have them in there. Yes, I got, I got quite a few, but I'm not a hardcore bench made guy. This one just, if you could, um, experience, or if you could try one of these, 
it really is a fantastic knife. This is the smaller one. This is the mini. Um, I was also thinking about getting a full size one. Uh, you got that beautiful clip back there. You all know about the G, the uh, um, these uh, bench mates. You got the speed holes in the middle there. This looks. It, I mean, it looks great, man. It just. I love it. I love it. The action on it is superb. And if you pull this out of your pocket and you just show anybody, they're going to say, whoa, what in the heavens? What do you got there? That's like one of them things that I'm telling you. Your buddies are going to be a little envious of you. When you pull this out to, you know, cut something or if you're, you know, if you show your buddies this piece here, I'm telling you, it's going to make waves. They're going to want to handle it. They're going to want to play with it. They're going to they're going to be very curious about this piece if you're not a knife guy. If you're not a knife guy, this opens up a whole experience for you. It really, really does. You got this access lock here, and this one is broken into the dickens. I mean, it's just drop shutty. I mean, it's, I mean, this thing, it can't get no more smooth than this, guys. I worked it. I adjusted the pivot. Um, it's, it's work. I mean, the action is just, it's just bouncing off the thing. Look at that. I took my time, uh, very, very meticulously to adjust, to adjust this just to the right where it falls, just like that. It just fell, boom, right into the well, right into that blade well. Watch it fall into the blade well. Bing. It just bounces in that blade well. It's fantastic. But that's the Mini Adamus. This is the Benchmade Mini. This is the Mini Adamus. And it's a fantastic gentleman carry piece, guys, in my opinion. Now, naturally, these are all my opinions. Um, you know, uh, I've got something off to the side here that I want to show you guys, but I don't want to show you now because it's got something to do. It's all going to coincide with something, so I can't show you this piece next to me. But it takes the cake for being a gentleman carry piece. I want to show you so bad, but I can't right now because I have something in the works I'm thinking about doing with this piece. So anyway, guys, drop me a comment, please. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, about these pieces here. I shot a video not too long ago uh, with a few Rough Riders that I threw up and um, that I thought was gentleman carry pieces. But now we're going to step up the game a little bit. We're going to increase. We're going to start increasing the, um, the gentleman carry pieces. So we got the Rough Riders out of our system, so to speak. And uh, we're going we're gonna to climb the chain. We're going to climb now. So let me know what you think about these pieces here, guys. I'd greatly appreciate it. Danny Bones, my main, my main man, Danny, from These Knives. Give me a shout, Danny. Let me know what you think about these pieces here, Danny. I'm curious on your input on, uh, on these guys here. All right. Uh, you guys be good, be well, be safe. Let me know what's going on. Enjoy your Sunday. Crack a beer. Have a beer with your buddy or have a beer or a cocktail with your wife. Go out to dinner. Go out to brunch, lunch. Uh, give the pooches a kiss. I'm going to go down there and give my dogs uh, two big kisses because they didn't get their kisses yet today. So they got to get their kisses. They're waiting for kisses. I do it every day. I make sure I make sure I give my dogs kisses every day. And I think you guys should give your animals kisses, too. All right, guys. Listen, stick with me. Let me know what's going on with these pieces that I threw up here. Um, yeah, you know, let me know what's going on, guys. I greatly appreciate it. We're 20 minutes in. If you stuck with me this long, you know how I say it. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And uh, we're going to do it like that. All right, guys. Let me know what you want to see. I'm running out of content here, honest to God. So if there's anything you want to see... Uh, if I could oblige, uh, that's, that'd be wonderful because I'm seriously, I'm struggling for content now. I've, I've shown everything I just about have. So, all right, guys, be good, be well, be safe, take care. And, uh, yeah, man, have a fantastic Sunday. All right. Bye-bye now.